hello lands and lasses, and straight away to the matter! So, this is text editor from Maine, and if we type something and try to close it without saving before, we'll get this dialog. And if we go to text editor code, we'll see it is a GTK message dialog widget, that it basically inherits from GTK dialog. Back to UI, and the problem with this dialog is that it isn't responsive. So if we scale the window pretty narrow, and try to save again, the widget will overflow the parent window. By the way, note that text editor doesn't officially support an adaptive mode yet. For example there aren't optimizations for the tabs interface and a few more things. But regardless, that issue should be resolved because actual adaptive apps might want to use the message dialog. So we have the introduction of add white a message dialog, as a replacement of GTK message dialog for our lovely GNOME apps. Because in theory GTK is now a generic purpose toolkit, while Adwaita is the official GNOME apps library, although in practice doesn't really matter. But whatever the case, the end result is that in addition to the full size widget on a bigger window, we'll get one smaller when not enough room, or even one with vertical aligned components. And there are some further API optimizations too. So in live action, when there's enough room we'll get a full size widget. And note the two rows label, but if we scale the window to a smaller size, the message dialog will scale down 2 to fit, and on this case we get a 3 lines description. Anywho, let's move on, because this movie isn't really about Adwaita. So there is this tweet talking about this change, and in the end Alex says that if he didn't have to move, this probably would have happened in March or April. And if I'm not terribly wrong, Alex was moved from Russia because of the war in Ukraine. I guess what I'm trying to say is, this situation has affected hundreds of millions of people, and especially in an area that traditionally gives lots of code contributions. So if you're asking me, that would be the greatest reason of all that GNOME 43 won't be the greatest release ever. I think that development isn't really running at full speed the past few months. And then there is this other thing that makes me keep wondering. What if Germany was spending just the 20% of their military budget to sponsor organizations to switch to open source? Like on how they sponsor companies to transition to green energy. Because the way I see it, Europe's biggest problem isn't to being dependent on Russia's gas, but to be dependent to American software companies. Because everyone knows that. Eventually dictators will fall. But companies can get too big to fail. Facts maybe? <laughs>